the most important point is to have civilized discussions. The thing that we all, especially all us atheists, have in common is that when we first stop believing, we suddenly want to tell the world that we just stop believing. When I'm an atheist, because they, even the religious people have a joke for atheists saying that how do you know a person is an atheist? He will tell you. <laughs> but then at that same point of time, we become very aggressive. Even I've made that mistake. Most important thing that you can do is be honest, be civilized, be open to their evidence, but don't be afraid to ask them questions. Lead them forward through questioning. Whereas when we have a lot of conversations, we probably piss a lot of people off and they go running off and this guy is not talking to him again. But what we want to do is we want to have a conversation with even the person you're talking to. We'll say, thank you, you have actually made me think in a new way. I'll have to think about what you said, I'll get back to you. That is the aim of it. And there are a couple of sources which are very good for this. There's a YouTube channel and a podcast called Street Epistemology, which is done by Anthony Magnobosco. He actually goes out and talks to people on the streets in the US. He talks to people who are Muslim, who are Hindu, who believe in ghosts, who believe in magic. He even talks to atheists. And there's another book called How to Have Impossible Conversations by Peter Bogosian. It is probably one of the best books when it comes to talking to people with strange belief systems and how we can question them, learn from them, have an honest, open conversation that is respectful, that is civil, that is based on a common understanding.